Another very lovely day out there to all of you, my dear friends. Leviticus 26, this is speaking of the blessings and the cursings. If they are obedient to the laws that are laid down before them, then they shall be blessed. If they are disobedient, they will be cursed. For this, I'm just going to give two examples of the blessings and the cursings and just how blessed that they could be and how cursed that they would be if they, uh, and this actually both happened to the nation throughout its history. In the ninth verse of this chapter, we read, for I will have respect unto you and make you fruitful and multiply you and establish my covenant with you. So the Lord, he will make childbearing very easy and they would begin to have a more prosperous nation. You see, the more people that you have, as long as they work, and that was a command that was part of the law, he whom doesn't work doesn't eat. But as long as they work, then society flourishes, and plus their army is far stronger. All of the, so many advantages as long as you have great numbers and the right heart of the nation. But now we come upon the cursings part of that, if they are disobedient to the Lord. Then I will walk contrary unto you also in fury, and I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins, and ye shall eat the flesh of your sons, and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. It is one thing to have lost your children in the war, let's say. It's one thing to have that, but it's another thing when you are so desperate in a famine, and Jeremiah actually speaks of how the mothers were eating their own children to stay alive. Now, that's a whole different type of torment right there. But that's part of the cursings. One of the Bible commentators, Rooker, actually noted a symmetry between the blessings and curses in this chapter. And right here they are. Fertile land, you'll be blessed. And uh, curses, you'll have unproductive land. If you're obedient, you'll live in safety. If not, you'll live in foreign nations. So you can see how everything is just one side of the scale or the other. Chapter 26. Ye shall make you no idols, nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Ye shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. If ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and your threshing shall reach unto the vintage and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. And I will give peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid, and I will rid evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land. And ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase an hundred, and an hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. For I will have respect unto you, and make you fruitful, and multiply you, and establish my covenant with you. And ye shall eat old store, and bring forth the old because of the new. And I will set my tabernacle among you, and my soul shall not abhor you. And I will walk among you, and will be your God, and ye shall be my people." I am the Lord your God, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, that ye should not be their bondmen, and I have broken the bands of your yoke, and made you go upright. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments, and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning ague that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart, and ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, 
Then I will punish you seven times more for your sins, and I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as iron, and your earth as brass, and your strength shall be spent in vain, for your land shall not yield her increase, neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruits. And if ye walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, and destroy your cattle, and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. And if ye will not be reformed by me by these things, but will walk contrary unto me, then will I also walk contrary unto you, and will punish you yet seven times for your sins. And I will bring a sword upon you, that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant, and when ye are gathered together within your cities, I will send the pestilence among you, and ye shall be delivered into the hand of the enemy. And when I have broken the staff of your bread, ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall deliver you your bread again by weight, and ye shall eat and not be satisfied. And if ye will not for all this hearken unto me, but walk contrary unto me, then I will walk contrary unto you also in fury, and I, even I, will chastise you seven times for your sins. And ye shall eat the flesh of your sons, and the flesh of your daughters shall ye eat. And I will destroy your high places, and cut down your images, and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols, and my soul shall abhor you. And I will make your cities waste, and bring your sanctuaries unto desolation and I will not smell the savour of your sweet odours. And I will bring the land into desolation, and your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. And I will scatter you among the heathen, and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbaths, as long as it lieth desolate, and ye be in your enemy's land. Even then shall the land rest, and enjoy her Sabbaths. As long as it lieth desolate, it shall rest, because it did not rest in your Sabbaths when ye dwelt upon it. And upon them that are left alive of you, I will send a faintness into their hearts in the lands of their enemies. And the sound of a shaken leaf shall chase them, and they shall flee as fleeing from a sword, and they shall fall when none pursueth. And they shall fall one upon another, as it were before a sword when none pursueth and ye shall have no power to stand before your enemies, and ye shall perish among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity in your enemies' lands, and also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I also have walked contrary unto them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember, and I will remember the land. The land also shall be left of them, and shall enjoy her Sabbaths, while she lieth desolate without them, and they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity, because, even because they despised my judgments, and because their soul abhorred my statutes. And yet, for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, neither will I abhor them, to destroy them utterly, and to break my covenant with them, for I am the Lord their God. But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses.